What's good y'all, Lonnie Taylor here, and I'm about to share with you guys my artist story. I went online, did some research, and I saw some guy leave a comment that said, yeah, me and my wife were in the garage working on the scroll saw. So after the research, I ended up here to buy one of those. Realizing I can't scroll in my bedroom, I set it up in my garage and I made my first cut. I signed up for a two hour class with her, and this is what I produced. Night and day, right? I'm 100% sure that had I not ran into her, I would not be scrolling anymore. After I purchased my scroll saw, I went online and I found the silhouette of this young lady right here. Her name is Maya. And I created my first art collection, the Maya Angelou collection. So I make this piece and it's a silhouette. I want to make people, but I don't know how. That same woman who taught me how to scroll messaged me and she's like, you do know you can cut people up and make the different segments of the people. And I was like, say less actually say more she tags me on a video of someone who is segmenting or cutting the pieces up so instead of this silhouette i actually have features and body parts i was doing a piece of two ladies a mother and a daughter standing in front of the new orleans backdrop and some guy reached into my dms and he said hey I love your work, don't get offended, but I know how you can make it better. That individual then introduced me to the principles of intarsia. We got here because I was posting on my page, oh my gosh, I really wanna learn how to make faces. She messaged me and she said, I saw how you wanna learn how to make faces. Here's somebody on Instagram who makes faces. At that time, a repeat customer comes to me and she says, hey, I'm making my Diva Reeves and I usually buy my silhouettes from a craft store, but I would like for you to make me some silhouettes so that they're more interesting to look at. And I said, sis, I don't make faces and I can't paint. And she said, well, this is how I paint and I think that you could do a better job than I do. I said, I'm up for the challenge, so let's give it a go. And while I'm making those silhouettes, I started thinking, you know what? Maybe I can make faces. And that, my friend, is how we got here. 